Um, so let's go over the first problem that was dealing with the comp. Actually, that wasn't the first problem. First problem you guys had was sketch the angle and determine the quadrant uh, that the angle's in, correct? So what we had to do is we had to, I wanted you guys to, of course. Teachers, pardon interruption. Please check your emails for the list of students that will be sent for the FCAT retakes. Thank you. Yeah. You said 8 o'clock? So we have um, 11 pi over 8. What I need to do is I need to determine where is that angle and what quadrant it is it in. So the first thing, we need to determine you know, where our quadrants are again. Hold on, hold on. Time. Plenty of time. Huh? No, I didn't. I just said check the thing for the guys coming in. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, just going, it's going to take two seconds for us to check this homework quiz. You'll be fine. So what we want to do is we want to go through this, and we want to determine where this angle is, all right? Now remember, when we're describing an angle, we always start with our initial side right here, and we're going to rotate it around. This way would be in the positive direction, and down, if we go cl clockwise, it's going to be in the negative direction. Well, remember, if I rotate my ray halfway around, right, well, we looked at that. By determining our radians, we said that was pi radians um, around. Now, since I have, um, I'm using a fraction 11 pi over 8, you could say we have, we're dealing with the fraction 11 eighths. So therefore, I could really write 8 as 8 eighths, or I'm sorry, pi as 8 eighths, right? Because 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times pi would be still pi. So if we think about this, if I was going to break this thing, that means I could break this distance from here to here into eight different parts. So I could say. Breaking in eight parts looks something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I break this one into eight, then if I have eight, nine, 10, 11, well, which quadrant is that angle? So that means my angle goes all the way to here. So the angle is from my initial side to my terminal side is going to end up in the third quadrant. OK? If I see it, questions? Good? Yes? Um, I'm going to have, I mean, sure, that's, uh, that's fine. If you're going to have to show some kind of work, though, because if you get it wrong, then it will be, you know, marked against you. But yeah, that's fine. Um, 